Well, a light through a sliver of tree shone an arc of porch of a place with a door. Harks of the pink skinned boy, home, a dull glow has shown, showing me the strange place I can't understand here in the night. Can a man like our father live in such a place? I've never lived here. Not once was I born or raised in the shadowy woods in this flickering place, never in this blue, blurry vision. Is that its only shape? Then a screen door turned on its hinges, and man and voice spun out slowly, laying flat out shadows along the pines. And then a small goose's voice said, I'll be on my plane by the morning light. I'm leaving now, yes, I'm stepping out. Can you hear me, ma'am? As I juggle my bags and I lock my door, all tight with all my things in store. She heard him in detail, the boys as well, they exchanged some quiet noise as well. Do you think like me? Is this distant place, this round face a gift? Right explorers, wild on time, right lucky and righteous too. Made out a plan, sent out a call, and were responded to. I said, answer with words, speak at once. I am my name, my name is a general. I am my name is a general. I speak for all, now answer me, namely, who are you? And theoretically, what do you know? They responded. I'm men without faces, I'm a remote place I speak at once and for all when I say I have massive news of destruction Ooh, it's shocking and awful There's a strange blurry face, can't you see him? Can't you imagine as if one man in a video Without sound or a photo still Where he looks straight at you and moves about like a dream Yes, I can see him now I can imagine him looking low and mean And does he take part in parades Where many of them stand about Mouths frozen open like a school of trout Caught on camera And does he make it a habit of having days spent framed In strange living rooms Posing in front of sheetrock walls Draped with curtains with folded squiggles drawn on Guns drawn Yes, that's the one and many things more Like lawyers watching the ends of football matches, smiling, arching their necks towards each other like monsters, like snakeskin suits, the boys around a fire in a terrifying wood, once alone again, unheard of, unseen again, let out a great bellow. Oh, oh, oh how wise we are, look how we've done it. A target was keenly found and pounded, like some wrong tasting food. If cats have covered, I could have too. All oh, red and salty, it'll be on our hands. But this is our time. This is our time, it's all ours, so let us now raise from our hard logs and hot garbage pile and go forth to our new home and smile and bravely, well done we should say, patting hands and this sort of thing. Mission accomplished? Yes, just of that sort, like a toast between men, but with a funny kind of grin and a bulging kind of eyeball size, saying with a cigar nose shaking or a throbbing cock or a shaking mustache bouncing, aha, dirty dog, look what we got here, dirty rat, fuck you, dumb faced bird, mission accomplished, fuck you, dumb faced bird that looks like me, making faces that make me gurgle with hate and excitement, and so we make this quick shout and swallow this strange buzz, and our eyeballs bulge, and we bang gentle glasses together, baring our teeth and turning our heads away, pouting, disgusting lips, Enough, I can't even hear you. It's time to move it out. Bring it on, but how to emerge from my snake hole with my leg dead asleep? I sat on it, you see, so come help me up, support me, please. Then the wind blew in, and the sound of a voice, a full thick sound, like an empty room, like a horse, it seemed to shudder. And said, It's a fault of her own, you sat on your leg, no one's forced this poor choice, this pretzel place, should you take your fingers and squeeze your vein with the weight of your meat? In innocence you've been trained by all the worst voices But as some find in truth fate's choices to move their legs and dance You are yourself a place to blame Say it again In innocence you've been raised by all the worst voices But as some find in truth fate's choices to move their legs and dance You are yourself a place to blame Then the sound of an ocean of telephone voices and actors, fake experts, perverted noises spoken spit around the boys like a mist. Like an intelligent neighbor in sex, the cold rain said. Support him, support him, support him, for his limb is at risk for you. So that you too should enter this place, your lover's fingertips, your baby's pale and secret places. Do you offer them up? 
Do you hold their hate? Are they as queer as your backwards would? Your language strange like some unagreed upon idea? Some still legal animal that won't vote with a pen? Nah, I support border boys then, but don't untie the vein. He's noble, he should sacrifice his land with endless flow. Besides, I think we all would agree we prefer to roam about as we please, so support him, support him. Are you afraid? That's okay, are you strong? And do you wish to fuck? That which you may not fuck You may have relations with us as some may not relate I go down easily, I mean I go down easy This is consensual, I mean <clears throat> this is consensus We're all on the same page like or not And I've got the papers to prove it So support him, support him, support him Support him, support him, support him. <laughs> Alright, so some port for him was docked upon. Two boats knocked up on doors, locked and on, they went in and about one way or another. Confused, they swam in frantic circles like nervous fists testing the walls, batting some whales, making calls about the reefs and the rafters. And what is this place and why is it this shape? And do you see how I trip and stumble over this mantelpiece? I don't keep my furniture here. Not once have I bought or placed this strange green couch in this hazard space parked by this lamp showing me this ornate rug that I can't even understand here in the light. Somewhere some geese are all honking, all gaggled where the lights never go off. All the while on the train platform, surrounded by every variety of rat, two lovers exit a car. Godspeed train, farewell on your path to far Rockaway. Ah, uh, how I love you. How I understand you. If only you would wish God speed to a horse like that on its path to far rock away. Oh, and how I love and understand you. If only you would talk to a train and know it as a horse like that. Every variety of blind things scurries and shuffles past, and their present is always past, and in passing, woo, a show vibration. They are sick and they cannot see color. A heavy gray thing, slow, still, stands and steps over to the case and stares. Some small mouth sounds mean there are plastic bags of tube socks to be sold. Some hollow, meaty thing slumps shoulders under stiff coats, scoffs, leaping past him up the stairs, towards a light, two steps at a time, barefoot. Up above ground, above the street, wind up Mexican women, wind up carting ice off to other mothers, children. The infants go strolling by, the old men are strollers close behind. And then, hark, said the goose voice, man, my home. A bright light is shown, showing me the strange place I can't even understand here and there, light. Is this what I must awaken after my brutal dream? My years of vacation, my hospital tours of airport hangars and strange office floors. On arch doors that open and close at all at hours of surprise. And who are these boys, pink in the face and white as a ghost, strewn about my mantelpiece, crumpled in my fireplace, draped by my curtains and cats of cover, tangled these two in every blinking thing? Can a man like my father live in such a place? I've never lived here, not even once was I born, or raised in the shadowy woods, in this old tree made fence, this new mess of debris, never, never, never. Is this its only shape? Is this only its shape?